This game is my fucking nightmare. It's a frustrating, incoherent pile of vomited shit. He didn't like it. I liked it. Yeah, it was decent. Nightmare on Elm Street on NES from LJN is actually one of my most um, childhood memories. Like, playing this... There was a few games. I remember playing this on, on the cartridge. You know, putting the cartridge in. Um, there was a few games uh, from other consoles that I would, I would just play uh, over and over and just over again. And I remember... Um, there was a uh, relative had had the had the console and had this game, and I'm like, "Well, I love horror movies. I love Freddy. Freddy's my you know my favorite slasher. It's gonna be really cool playing this game." So I went on with it like it was just you know this is how you play the game. Like I didn't you know like like most people that was like, "Oh, this is making me angry." I was just playing the game like, you know, just like having fun playing the game. Um, I didn't notice until with everything. And this was pre, you know, inspirational uh, nerd. You know, this was, I think, before... I think mean, this was like before YouTube, 2004. This was before YouTube. Yeah, so like I was... This was kind of one of those games that, like, really, I was really, like, uh, in, got really into. It was this, um, Vice City for PS2, um, you know, Casper, there, there was a few, just, like, random games that I really got into, um, that I just, like, enjoyed, loved to like loving like love to play um and it was just it was one of those things like yet again um one of like my, my favorite like uh memories very sentimental sentis like sentimental sentimental um fun time it was this game and then there was this uh the most elm street game like related things which sad which sad is is they didn't really get to um kind of modernize like what they do with Friday the 13th but i could understand with that cuz uh with Jason you could you could just kill you know like you could have so much creativity killing somebody with whatever a knife a, a cleaver whatever um machete Freddy, you have to put yourself, you know, and I always imagine even in school, imagine how an awesome um, PlayStation, and I was like even thinking like, I don't even mean two, but maybe four or five would have come out. This was, I was still in grade school and I would just imagine and imagine and just draw these like ideas or write these ideas of um, of this kind of game, and, uh, you know, but it would be such a hard task, because so many ideas with dreams, like, how could you make a really good, uh, dream scene happen in every scene like it would be you would probably have to go through each and every movie and you would probably have to like, like there's so many different tasks to do um maybe you could put on go on a bike probably watch out for the bike because he'll be probably going on to you like uh he did with dan from part five or you, you don't watch that TV because maybe you're going to end up um, <laughs> like, you know, part three. So you, there's good ideas, but I don't know how if they could like work that out. 
But um, just my little, I, you know, thoughts on those. But uh, going back to the NES game, this is a game that I just recommend uh, for the nostalgic point, of course. And just if you want to play just something that's not that bad, you know, you're going into a nightmare. That's just, a, in my opinion, pretty a pretty cool idea. Uh, for at the time, you know, so that's my review.